Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price and also gonna have a look where the DXY and the CME stopped yesterday on Friday because during the weekend they are not trading. So let's have a look where they stopped. So we can start today in the weekly time frame. I want to start in this bigger time frame because I want to remind you that long time ago we covered this inverted head and shoulders pattern that you can see here with the crash that we had in March. And remember in that time I told you that in theory if we're gonna have a breakout from this resistance the target could be measured by the crash that we had in March. And in that case this would bring us straight towards six $16,000. So this measurement lines up perfectly with the top that we had currently and that's why I still see some warning signs that we could see a pullback from this point on. That doesn't mean that we have to go straight back down towards 10k but at least a little pullback is still in the cards since we are reaching now this target here that we had since the crash in March. I didn't think that we will come so quickly that high but as you can see we exactly met this target of this pattern that we had here with the crash in March. So that's why I think this target here makes very much sense also because based on the Fibonacci retracements from the top that we had to the bottom in 2017-18 you can see that this is lining up with the 0.786 Fib line right here at $16,200. So even though we could maybe see another leg up towards $16,200 maybe even towards $17,000 because also here in the past we had a week here to the upside towards $17,000 thousand two hundred dollar there is still a chance that maybe we're gonna see one last lag to the upside before a pullback but that doesn't mean that we're gonna immediately change the trend because Bitcoin is still looking very bullish here also in the bigger time frames even though we are getting into overbought condition in the RSI and also in my own indicator so a pullback is possible but I don't think that we would go much lower than twelve thousand dollars so the bottom of this channel that we actually broke out to the upside but still could come back down here also because the 20 week moving average is still lining down here at the main support of the channel that we were in before. So if there is going to be a correction then this is my target to be reached here. And if we go now over into the Bollinger Band you can see that we are still overshooting it to the upside so a retracement back down into the Bollinger Band is at any time possible. So I still think we're gonna see continuation to the upside especially for the long term in the Bitcoin price but of course on the way there there will be always pullbacks and I think right now there could be such a moment incoming where we're gonna see maybe one nasty week to the downside or at least a correction down to test here maybe the two moving averages here between 12,000 to 11,100 and then shoot straight back up again. We also have all the indicators shifted to the upside so the Bitcoin price is looking very bullish here for the long term so my suggestion is always try to buy the dip and if we are lucky enough that the price can retrace back down towards the 20 weekly moving average try to accumulate as much Bitcoins as possible possible every time we're coming down to the 20 weekly moving average and before we go into the lower time frames let's have a quick look into the DXY and the CMEs because the DXY as you can see here had a big crash last week so we weren't able to push here higher towards our target of around $97 so the DXY is very weak and we should expect big continuation here to the downside especially once this $90 is getting broke and then I'm expecting again a parabolic run up in the Bitcoin price also all over the stock market we're gonna see a big rally if the DXY is falling off the cliff here. And the nice thing to see is that currently the DXY is getting rejected by the 20 weekly moving average and in the Bitcoin price we're seeing exactly the opposite. In the Bitcoin price we're getting supported by this important weekly moving average. So this is a very good moving average to keep an eye on if you're trying to catch good buy or good sell entries. And now let's go also over into the CMEs because here you can see that we closed already the weekly candle in a very bullish way. We closed here above 15,600 
hundred dollar. So we took out this high that we had here at fourteen thousand two hundred dollar. This was very important since last week we had the close slightly below this top here. So the risk that we could form here any kind of double top formation is out of the cards now since we had here this bullish weekly candle and also the close above this high so the cmes are also looking very bullish even though of course there is also a very high chance that we could have a pullback very very soon i don't say right now but very soon maybe once we're gonna reach 16,200 or 17,000 dollar and if we go now into the lower time frames like here the daily you can see that currently we are still far away from the moving averages so the first one that i'm targeting here is the nine day moving average right at fourteen thousand four hundred dollar so maybe during the weekend or next week if we're gonna have at least a week to the downside or a pullback a little one we could go and retest the old resistance which is now support right here at fourteen thousand four hundred dollar this is maybe where you can consider to open up another long position if you think that we can go again towards sixteen thousand two hundred and also break it if the $14,400 will not hold, then my target is here to reach the 20 daily at $13,600 and in the worst case to come all the way back down here towards the main support at $11,200. I don't think we will go way lower even though we could even go down to test the 200 daily moving average at $10,500. But as you can see, every day that we are moving here above all the moving averages, the higher the 200 daily is also coming. So I think it's just a matter of time till the 200 daily is all also reaching here the main support that we have currently at around 11,200 but because we are looking a bit toppy here also as you can see the RSI here is showing that we could see a correction incoming in my own indicator we had already a sell signal up here but as you can see we continued the run we had the breakout to the upside and right now we are still in this very overbought condition. So a pullback is at any time possible, my friends. But anyway, I always suggest you to look for good longs in an uptrend. Don't try to sell the rallies or try to catch a top and short it. Better wait for good long entries and then ride it up. And because we are looking a bit exhausted here, I wouldn't immediately recommend you to open up longs here at these levels, but maybe wait for possible pullbacks and then start longing and buying back in. And now let's head over into the Bollinger Band in the daily, because also here we are still at the top of the Bollinger Band. So also here retracement towards $14,400 is very likely. We have all the indicators shifted to the upside, which is of course bullish. So if we have a pullback or maybe even just a week to the downside which often we see when we have low volumes like in the weekend then very often we see just short-lived weeks to the downside to liquidate or stop out some over leveraged longs and then immediately the price comes back up so this is also what i think could happen during the weekend and if we go over into the four hour time frame you can see that we were forming this falling wedge you can see it better in the one hour time frame because here it's already broken out and currently the previous resistance is new support so here i'm expecting now in theory a big bounce to the upside from the new support and in that case the target would be at least towards 16,000 to 17,000 500 dollars the only problem is like i told you we're trading right now during the weekends on the weekends very often you see like insane price actions where the price very often just pumps and dumps all the time so there is a very high chance that we could see here some follow through towards 16,200 and higher but there are also some warning signs that we could see maybe a nasty week here to the downside at least to test this 14,400 dollar again so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now enjoy this nice saturday and if you want to open up an account on coinbase or swissborg if you're new in the crypto space then use the links that you find down below here in the video description if you're new in the crypto space because with my links you can get some extra money and also some extra cryptos so when you open up an account to put a first deposit you will own even more cryptos and if you are already an experienced trader then make sure that you use my referral links down below here to the recommended exchanges where you can trade cryptos with leverage with my links you will get also some sign up bonus if you fulfill all the requirements here to get this full bonus and everyone is also welcome to join my free discord trading chat this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals on 
Bitcoin. So thank you very much for watching my friends. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the weekend my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.